we are? I'm Kimberly. I'm Constantino Sisista. I'm Gladio Coles. And I'm Lady May Hukuya. And we are the major and we are to present our research title called Athletic Involvement and Perceptions of Physical Attractiveness Among, a among Athletes and Non-Athlete Students of the Audit National High School. Now first, let's go on to our rationale. So, our rationale states that being physically active comes with different benefits such as first, lessen susceptibility to illnesses, such as flu, cough, cold, to even cancers, and second, being physically active must be related to being physically attracted. The top performing, the top performing professional cyclists at the Tour de France or TDF were ranked to be more facially attractive than the lowest performing cyclists at the TDF. Even so. Even so, the lowest performing cyclists at the TV, TDF were ranked more attractive than the general populace. And, uh, and number three, being physically attractive makes you more likely to get into romantic and platonic relationships. Being in a, being in a romantic or platonic relationship has been shown to help adolescents control their negative emotions better than adolescents with no romantic or platonic relationships. And being in a romantic or platonic relationship has been shown to boost their confidence and help in their holistic development. And the researchers will be conducting the study with the students of Canavid National High School or CNHS in five <coughs> And this research aims to track the relationship between physical activity and physical attractiveness of student athletes compared to non-athlete students at CNHS. Students that are, that are more physically attractive has been shown to have more relationships, platonic or romantic, and are perceived more as role models in Kinabit National High School. And this study also aims to bridge the gap of knowledge pertaining to the relationship of students athlete, students' athletic engagement with their physical attractiveness. And also, the object of this research is to provide a solution to the growing problem of low self-esteem and partly to obes obesity among Filipinos. And now let's move on to our objectives. First, general objective. So for our objectives, we have to examine the relationship between students' perceptions of physical attractiveness and athletic involvement, considering the societal expectations and stereotypes associated with physical attractiveness. And our specific objectives to examine how students' athletic involvement is, is impacted by cultural norms and stereotypes about physical attractiveness. Number two, to investigate the athlete and non-athlete students' own experiences and views on the relationship between physical attraction and athletic involvement. Number three, to determine and investigate the experiences and difficulties that the athletes and non-athlete students face in relation to societal standards of physical attractiveness. And fourth, to look at the various manners in which athlete and non-athlete students view physical attractiveness, attractiveness in relation to opportunities, privileges, and social statute, 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 status in their local communities. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to our research questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our research questions are, what are the social expectations and stereotypes surrounding physical attractiveness in relation to athletic involvement? 
How do athletes and non-athletes perceive the influence of athletic involvement on physical attractiveness? What are the experiences and challenges faced by athletes and non-athlete students in terms of societal expectations regarding physical attractiveness? And how do athletes and non-athletes perceive the role of physical attractiveness in, the, in terms of opportunities, privileges, and societal status within their communities? That's all, thank you.